Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our call today. Let me describe this young man. He came to the United States on July 9th of 2002. Yeah, that's right. He's kept sending these planes flying over here. He says, one day, one day, I'm going to go to America. Why? Because it's known as the land of what? Opportunity. Not jobs, not slavery, but opportunity. And he said, man, he landed here. He got a job in Baltimore, Maryland, working at Applebee's. And one day he decided, hey, man, you mean I can make more money talking for a living than being around a hot stove flipping burgers? <laughs> I'm all over it. He never looked back. Ladies and gentlemen, he got started at the age of 20. He just turned 30 this year. And I'm happy to announce this Friday, this Friday, the 27th, will be his 10th year anniversary with ACN. Let's give him a hand as we get him up here. Then on the regional vice president, Mr. Shaquille Cooper. It's about 10 years. It's crazy. Um, and I'm excited. Uh, I actually, I'm out of town right now. So I'm going to be meeting up with one of my regional vice presidents on Friday on the 10 year. That's, I didn't think about it because time is just moving. But, you know, it's just, who would ever thought, you know, you could start a business and then 10 years later, the business is still growing and it's expanding in multiple different countries. Well, we've been in multiple different countries, but the fact that it just keeps growing without me even knowing a lot of these people that just signing up. Why? Because they love the opportunity and these events are what's important. So today I want to talk about events. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. So if you're taking notes, I want you to write down building your MLM business with a system of what events, events, but it's a system because it's great to go to an event. It's great to be excited, but what's more important is what do you do? after you go to the event right because they're teaching you how to do the same thing that they're doing what about what i love about AC is that everything that they do we all can do it also so we just got to learn what they do on a bigger scale and do it on a smaller scale so the first thing is establishing your goals so before you begin planning your events because everything that we do is an event you do a pbr it's an event you do a two-on-one, it's an event. You do a three-way call, it's an event. Everything is an event, right? So what do you hope to achieve through having these events? Are you looking to increase your sales? Are you, in are you looking to recruit new people to get started on your team? Or are you want to build your brand awareness? Do you want people to know your team, right? So you got to establish what are your goals? Because that's the first step. If you don't have any goals, you're not going to know where to start. So when I got started, again, what I did was, I focused on all three, right? Because I knew that if we didn't acquire any customers, we're not going to make any money. But I knew if I didn't build a big team, then my money will be limited to how many hours in a day that I put into work. And then from there, I also focused on building a brand, which was what? The Wolfpack. So I focused on all three. So everyone can't do all three at one time. You might got to just start with one. You might just want to build your brand. You might not be good at getting customers yet. You might not be good at you know building a team but you're good at marketing you're good at getting people aware that's showing the business you're that person that you bring a lot of people to the event right so whatever you're great at good if you're great at sales if you're good at getting customers it's great focus on that if you're great at you know getting new people to join your organization that's also great so just focus on what you're great at and just keep working on that right so by setting clear goals you can create an event strategy that is tailored to your specific business needs see people try to do it all at one time no focus on what you're good at and just go all in with it right number two identifying your target audience understanding your ideal customer so before you can develop an effective mlm event strategy you need to understand that what is your ideal customer is right so i'm from baltimore our ideal customers was bg e baltimore gas and electricity so i understood that if we just get great at getting gas and electricity customers We'll make a lot of money residually. Why? Because the average gas and electricity bill is higher than the average cell phone bill. So we focus on gas and electricity. And that's how I've always been able to maintain a nice amount of billing volume because most of my billing volume come from gas and electricity. Because when I started and my team is predominantly in a gas and electricity marketplace. So when it gets really cold here, the bill goes up. In the summertime, when it gets really hot, the bill goes up. So it's one of those places where it's like the bill is always high. 
So you got to focus on your target market. So that could be, you know, age. You know, we focus on age. When I first got involved, it was college students. You know, we never focus on gender. Um, location was important. Um, we focus on the East Coast, and then we expanded in different places. And income is very important. People that want to make a lot of money, people that need to make a lot of money. Ultimately, everybody, right? So people that have certain type of values, interests, people that love giving back, you know, and things like that. So you just want to focus ideally on your target market, right? You want to research the market. You want to understand that if I go into this marketplace, what is some of the best services that we're going to be able to offer? Because at the end of the day, if you're just going into a marketplace without knowing anything about the market, then it's going to be very challenging to build in that marketplace. So the next marketplace that I had went to was Houston. That's why I live in Houston now, because when I went to Houston marketplaces, they offered everything. So when I understood that, man, I can really build it big in Houston. Guess what I did? I went to Houston and I built it big, right? So after you do your mark, after you do your marketing and you do your research on finding that target market, you also want to focus in on going all in with it. So again, if you're focusing on college students, focus on college students. Why? Because whatever you put your energy and your time into is where you're going to get a lot of results at. So that's all I've done was just fo focus on that target market and just winning on it for years and years. Then number three, you want to develop your event strategy, right? You want to identify your goals. Again, if you don't identify your goals, then think about it, right? You can't hit a target you don't see. You got to find your target audience and you got to choose your event types. So it's very, very simple because everything that we do come down to events. When I got started in ACN, there's never been an event that someone in my organization has not represented the organization at in 10 years. Because our system is built on what? Events. We know that it's all about events. Saturday trainings, PBRs, it's like every day it's an event. Because that was our system since the day that I got started. So that's all I knew was, this is what we do, and we do this every single week. You do PBRs throughout the week, Saturday training, power hours, PBRs, sometimes training, but it's literally event to event to everything is an event. So you got to make it, make it important that these events are always on your schedule. What is your schedule like? Do you have an event going on today? So after you get off the call with Mr. Thomas, do you have your own event set up in place? Do you have your own people have their own events? Because if you're the only person that's doing everything, then you don't have a system. You need a system that it runs by the system. It has nothing to do with you, right? You got to create a compelling event experience. I'm going to read it again. Create a compelling event experience. Meaning that when that individual came to that event, it, it blew them away. I remember when I came to my first event, I was sold. Because the experience, I'm like, man... Where are these people that got some money at in Baltimore? And they downtown? I've never seen people in Baltimore that actually had, like, real legal good money. So when I went to that event, I was sold. I literally was sold. You know, and for me, it's not about the things, but it is about the things. Because you didn't see it a lot growing up in Baltimore. So when you go to an event downtown Baltimore and it's like, hey, I was a teacher. You know, now I drive a Lamborghini or just from Baltimore, I went to the same school. So when I seen stuff like that, to me, it was different. It was an event that I've never experienced being in Baltimore. So I was sold right away. You know, whatever your reason is for being sold, you know, that's your reason. But seeing that event downtown Baltimore, it definitely sold me. So from there, you're going to develop a theme or a concept that resonates to your target market that aligns with your MLM business goals. So when you have these events, your ultimate goal is either I'm trying to recruit people to become part of my team or I'm trying to get a lot of customers, trying to get some referrals, trying to get some people like real estate agents. These are people that they be in contact with a lot of people that might own buildings and things like that. Because I remember one time we got a client that owned the apartment building next to the college that we started at Morgan State University. And we got paid, I think it was the gas, the gas bill only from about 30 different people. So imagine you're doing home meetings and you're getting paid out of the same building. So for me, it all started from what? These events. You want to have engaging events where you're engaging people. You're giving away things. You're having contests. You're having games. Just think about it. When you go to convention, what happens? You get a chance to win a free iPad and things like that. So the reason why the, the company works is because they have a system. Everything I'm telling you right now is things that ACN is already doing providing value. They offer you a lot of value from different keynote speakers, workshops, trainings, 
You know, just think about all of the things that they offer us. We just don't really take advantage of it because the people that do take advantage of it is people like me that go out there to build a business that's going to continue to grow. 10 years later, you're going to still hear me talk about the company is still growing. The team is still growing. You're going to hear the same conversation as years go on. Why? Because it's not about me. It's about the system. The system has been implemented since day one. So that's all that people know. So people are only going to do what they know. Number five, step five, leverage social media to promote your events. Listen, if you're not using social media, what are you doing? I tell you all this all the time. I, listen, I don't care if you don't know how to use Facebook. Go use it. Because if you're not outside networking with people, then how are you going to meet new people? You got to use social media as a leverage, right? I'm not saying you have to only use it, but you have to leverage it. You want to choose a platform that might be good for you. Some people like TikTok. Some people like Facebook. Some people like Instagram. You know, some people like Twitter or, you know, whatever it is. Whatever platform is good for you, go out there. LinkedIn is another good one, right? You want to create content that resonates with your target audience, your goals. You want to focus on, the, like I said, a certain audience. Why? Because you got to have a target. You just can't focus on just everybody. So you also want to maximize your engagement. Are you engaging with these people? Are you having conversations with these people? Are you building a relationship? Because you can literally leverage social media. And I've done that because I remember it was my third year. I got a message from Facebook. It was like, you have 950,000 likes on Facebook because we posted so much. Like I flooded social media so much to the point that they shadow banned me because it was just like, you're posting so much and you're getting so, I used to get a hundred thousand impressions, meaning that a hundred thousand people used to look, I remember I was literally in Vegas one day and I looked at my impression. I'm like, man, it's a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand. Why? Because I posted so much because social media is a tool. It's not just meant for you to just sit on there and just share your opinion all day. It's business. It's business. Like, if people don't know how to separate social media from real life, but it's a tool that you can use to market and build your business, right? You want to measure your event success, right? After you have the event, you want to make sure that you had a good amount of people that was in attendance. How do you do that? Word of mouth. Listen, you got to also go back to word of mouth marketing. You got to pick up the phone and talk to people. Social media is great, but at the end of the day, before social media, before the internet, how did people build their businesses? Word of mouth. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have the TV. So the only way that I know that's been working for hundreds of years, that's still working to this day, is word of mouth. Go out there and have conversations with people. Meet new people in real life, not just on the internet. You also want to engage with the people, right? The people that come out to the event. Ask them questions. Because if you ask people questions, they're going to tell you what you want to hear. I ask a lot of questions. Why? Because people have questions. You also want to focus on the number of connections that was made during the event. Did you get people information? Did you have a way to follow up with them? Did you follow them on social media? And again, social media engagement, likes, shares, and comments. If you're not using social media, what are you using social media for? Then the sales. Did the event turn into sales? Did anyone sign up? Did you get any more customers? What did you get from the event? Because if you just had an event just to have an event, then what was the point of having the event? The event, the ultimate goal is for the event to turn into sales. Because everything that we do, if you're not acquiring any customers, are you making any money? No, we're not just recruiting people to just recruit people. This is not one of those things. This is a real business. And until people treat HCN as a real business, you'll never make real money. Because it's a real business that requires you to go out there and build a large organization. But your organization have to be trained on how to acquire customers because there's no customers that's being acquired, which equals to sales, then no money is being exchanged. We're a for-profit business. Yes, we help the non-profit, but we're a for-profit. Everything that you do should be for-profit because if you're not making any money, how are you going to help more people? The more money the company makes, the more money the company gets back. That's the entire model. The more money that you make, the more people that you can help. So again, I know we don't like talking about money. Most people is like taboo, but no, you got to make money. You can't help nobody being, listen, they said you can't help the poor being one of them. So somebody I go make the money. So again, expand your reach. You know, as your MLM business grows, so should your event strategy. Consider expanding your reach by hosting larger events 
partnering with other businesses, organizations, with creating an online uh, events to reach a wider audience. You got to connect with other people. Why not? Because at the end of the day, we're relationship building. You never know who you might have join your organization because you chose to network with somebody else. There's nothing wrong with networking. You got to scale up because if you're not networking with people, if you're not bartering with people, then what are you doing? You can't just hang out with people that's a part of the company. They're already a part of the company. You got to get around other people that's not a part of the company so they can become part of the company. Building your team to scale your event strategy. You may need to build a team to help with planning, promotion, execution. You might be able to have to hire, you know, event planners, you know, social media managers. Listen, it's all about how big you're trying to go with it. I know I'm trying to go big and I know that it's not going to happen overnight, but my ultimate goal, I told people, is SVP. I'm going to get there one way or another. And I'm going to show people that consistency over the, the years of putting together a system that you can build something that's going to last a lifetime. I'm not just building something that's just not going to be around for the next few years. It's 10 years later. And when I log into my business, my back office, it's still growing. There's still new people signing up. There's still new customers being made. That's a business that's growing. And everyone that laughed at me 10 years ago, nobody's laughing no more. Because they're not getting paid for something that they started 10 years ago. I am. Trust me, I am. And every single week, they cut that check. It don't matter what the amount is. Imagine for the rest of your life, you know that you built something that, man, it's going to keep coming in. Why? Because it's a system. It has nothing to do with me. I'm not taking the credit. The system is the reason why I'm still here today. So if you want a business that's going to continue to grow without you and prosper, Build a system, build a system. And I promise you it's going to grow. Maximize your ROI, your return on your investment. You got to understand, you got to invest in your, your business. You got to invest in your brand. Listen, you got to look like money in order for people to want to spend money with you. It is what it is. I tell people that all the time, you got to invest. And Mr. Thomas, he knows, you know, because people with money know people with money. It ain't about wearing your money, but it's just, it's networking. So, you know, most people, they might see a plane watching a person and it only takes a certain type of person to understand, oh my God, man, that's a huge blow. So when that person hear that, they automatically want to build a relationship with you because they're like, most people don't know about stuff like that. So it's not always about the flashy bling bling, but guess what? You got to look like you got some money. You got to invest into yourself. Why would I want to invest in money in the people that no? You got to show me. You got to show it to me. So at the end of the day, God judge on the inside, the world judge on the outside. So every time people see me, I'll be looking better than the last time you see me. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's all about growth. If you're not growing, then what are you doing? It's okay to grow. It's okay to be a brand. It's okay to go out there and build this business big because guess what? You can do it. And ACN literally gives you everything. So it's like when I tell people and I'm done, when I tell people, it's like, listen, if you literally just take this business serious, like, it works. I don't know what else I can tell people. It works. But it's a lot of work up front for the return on your investment. You can't put a price on it. So that's all I got for you guys today. Go out there and build your business event to event. All about events. And don't wait for your mentor to do it. You do it. Because my mentor was two and a half hours away. If I waited for him to build my business, I wouldn't be here today. So that's all I got wow. for you guys today.